Hello, welcome to the video. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial video um, covering mod installation in RimWorld. There's probably going to be a lot of people that are fairly new to the whole um, game of RimWorld and modding itself is pretty uh, a complicated. Well, it, it can seem complicated when you first start. So if you're new to RimWorld, and you want to know how to install mods then look no further because i'm going to show you how to install mods on alpha 14. now steam adds an extra layer of oh my god what do you do so i thought i'd do a little tutorial so there's two ways you can install the mods there's the complicated way which is going onto the forums and installing them that way so i'm going to show you that way first so let me just dive into uh the forum so if you want to go ahead to uh, ludion.com forums uh, it's pretty easy to show it from the root right if you go to ludion.com forward slash forums right so this is the main sort of uh, developer forums and there's all sorts of cool stuff on here but i'm not gonna go on about that now you want to go to the mod section and you want to go to released uh, there is various other sections you can look and play around in but Releases generally has the finalized versions. Now, these are normally always tagged with the version that you're using. So the latest one on Steam is Alpha 14. So you want to look for any that are tagged with A14 because otherwise you're going to be upset and cry because they won't work. So I've decided randomly to, to pick these two. Well, this one first. This is the Fallout 1.2 pack. So if you look on this here, it'll show you all various stuff that it adds. So this adds all different uh, weapons, uh, varmint rifle, rat slayer. Uh, there's also, I think there's a baseball bat somewhere. It doesn't show you, but yeah, there is a baseball bat and laser pistols as well. So what you need to do, you go ahead on here, you click on the top and that'll take you to a uh, download link. So that's took me to that drop box there and you get a file there project fallout 1.2.rar so go ahead and download that top right up there depends on what file hosted they're using so download it to your hard drive so as you can see i've downloaded two mods here i've got project fallout and i've got brune Br i can't even pronounce it brunei alia security co okay so you want to go and unzip it uh if you're not unzipped it go and get a 7-zip that's a really good free thing for handling raw zips and 7-zip files so i'm going to go ahead and unzip this so uh if you go ahead and look go into the folder now and look so the way that the mods work is that um if you go and look in this other one right try and explain this so you've got the mod name the mod name there is called Brune Alia Security. That is a collection of other mods. So that's all those other mods. Whereas if you look at Project Fallout, it's just that folder. So common mistake you might do is you might go, okay, I want to install those mods. They're not the actual mods. The mod for Fallout is that one there. So if I go ahead and copy that, now you need to go and find your Steam folder. So I'm on 32-bit Windows uh, 10. No, 64-bit Windows 10, sorry. So for me, I've installed to a non-standard uh, drive. So mine is installed on my D drive. So go to your Program Files folder. So for me, it's Program Files x86 because I'm 64-bit. Okay, then you go to your Steam folder. And then you go to your Steam Apps folder. And then you go to Common. And then here's all your data assets for the game. So look for RimWorld. So here we go, RimWorld. And then you go to the mods folder. And here's your core folder. So this, if you see here, now that's the project fallout thing there. So I just copy that into here. Now I've already got RimWorld running. So if we go back into it, you can see this originally I had no mods. So if you close that, go back into mods. There you go. Turn that on. That, believe it or not, is now activated. So I'll quickly create a new colony get into a game to show you it's all all working so it does look like quite a ridiculous amount of steps which is why i'm so excited for people to be able to use the steam workshop now okay so i've landed so now i've got developer mode turned on at the moment which in case you don't know is options and development mode this me means you can 
you can just basically you can build everything if you want to play around and test you can you can build everything really quickly so god mode on gives you all your available stuff so as you can see now i've got all these items um let me see so this adds weapons so i need to add a weapon bench um where is it component is it that one no that's a component bench that's not what i want okay so here you go you can see now all these uh these are all the non-standard items so you can see i've got all various uh varmint rifle assault carbine you, you can actually drop them in if you want to play around with them a little bit so it's so it's not that one no not that one it's spawn weapons here we go so spawn weapons so go yeah laser pistol there's only a quick way of doing that uh what else should we add oh lots and lots of different weapons to use so i've got a little laser pistol let's add where's it gone bb gun there we go okay i will get my colonists to come pick it up because for some reason i've decided to uh spawn the other end of the map oh they're not actually spawned yet here they go that'll be why they're not picking it up so if you pick that up and you pick that up there you go. So I've now got that weapon. So I can go, yeah, go on, kill that. Oh, incapable of that. Trust me to give the gun to the one person that's not got a weapon. I mean, it's, that can't do violence. Oh, he's puking. That's why I can't do it, I think. No, drop. There we go. Right, who, who got the BB gun? You did. Right, go on, kill that raccoon. As you can see, it's not really changed the sound effects in that one that much let's give him the laser pistol and see how that's out there we go so that's how you add the mods now one cool thing about the mods is this if you play modern side you know i don't like that you can just uh, disable it by clicking that uh to remove it the ones you've installed you need to do this though so you go into your folder you get the mod you don't like and you delete yes uh we can't delete that at the moment because we're actually in the i've got the uh mod actually open i believe ah that's interesting so you you can't actually uh delete them whether that's because i've actually used it no, there you go. You should be able to do that. I knew I wasn't going mad. So if you go back in now, that's deleted. Okay, right. So that's how you do them manually. And it's the same for all the mods. That's That that other one is some... I'll just quickly add it. It's really quick. This was another mod that I saw that I thought looked interesting. So if I refresh that now by going back into it, look, you've got all of those. They turn them on. You can click on them, get a bit more information about what they are. As a reminder... Yeah, turn that back off close back in here delete all of that light magic is gone so the other way of installing them which is the way that you will probably be doing that if you're uh, don't really understand any of what i've just done is to do the steam workshop so this is nice so if you come along to here and click on mod okay and then you can go down here and you can go oh what's this colony manager click on that gives you a little bit of information about what it does and this is what i've used in the past i quite like this it seems i've had a little bit of things with me with it being a little bit buggy but i think maybe i didn't have enough people at the time in the colony when i used it so we're going to ahead and show that one off and we're also going to go on here and go oh what else is we like to add so let's see what else could we add ah uh, bloop blueprints is pretty cool i'll add that and show that okay so that's two i've got added so close that down now if you take a note of the mods on here now the ones that have got the icon next to them mean they are from the workshop and in order to well i'll i'll, sh I'll show you them running first i'll just in, I'll, I'll enable them but they are 
they are super easy to remove. So do a new colony. Just defaults. Yeah. Let's start in the Arctic. Start. Now this blueprint thing's pretty cool. I'd like to actually play around this in one of my series because it does make building repetitive rooms easier. Okay, so turn God mode on. Okay, let's go to production. Have I got it turned on? No, there you go. I knew I didn't have it turned on. Now, that mod there added a feature called Blueprint and one called Manager. So if you look at Manager now here, as you can see here, now we have a Colony Manager, but Colony Manager version 2. So this is, pre this is pretty cool because you can go ahead and here. Let me see. I've ended up in a... Probably picked a really unsuitable terrain for, for this one. So this one is for adding. You can add bills so you can you know add a job collecting wood uh you can do production uh believe that one's a hunting tab yeah forestry livestock uh just on this you can manage say you know that's the i want to make make sure i've always got 500 wood and then you need to build a little managing desk but i'm not going into that because that's not really what i'm talking about with this mod before i get sidetracked so uh, production now, I've got this feature called Blueprints. So as you can see here, uh, if I go ahead and do structure and say I want to say I want to build a standard room like this. Uh, door there. Right, so see, so I always suffer from building rooms and building different sizes. So with this one, you can do this. Go highlight the room. Basic bedroom. Okay, so I need to, it's probably kind of, you, you're not allowed to have spaces in the name. Okay, so now if I want to place another one of those, I can just go to blue blueprints up there. And I can have bedrooms everywhere. So that's how you add mods within this one. And I will now show you how you remove them. So remove them is really easy. You can just go in there. I mean, you can disable them from that bit. That will just disable them. It won't remove them. Or you can click unsubscribe on there. Or you can open your workshop here. So this is a bit of a longer way of doing it. Go to your mods. Find. I think you should be able to browse. The ones you subscribed in your collect page, I believe. Oh, no, you can't. I'm just a liar. I'm just a filthy liar that doesn't know what he's talking about. So you can go into it in here. And then you can just click that there. And that will unsubscribe. So now I should be mod free. Go and check. So they were disappeared then. Yeah, there you go. So that's it, basically. That's just, that's how you, uh, that's the two methods for installing mods. That's the manual way and the automatic way. So. Hope you found some benefit in this, and I've not done my usual trick of waffling on too much. So uh, leave a comment if you found this useful, and if you got any problems with uh, the modding, installing modding aspect ratio of this, because it can get quite confusing when you do install them. But normally, uh, you can read the install steps for the actual mod, and it pretty tells you which order you need to install them in. Uh, so that's it for this video. I'm sure the rocks. This is RimWorld Alpha 14. Wow, that seems weird saying that. Um, this was the my modding tutorial video. So that's it for this video. I shall see you next time. Shirley Rocks, signing out.